My mom and my dad, was, I knew there was heavy drug users, and then my dad would always beat up my mom. I think so that, that her drugs was like her, her medicine, like would, would calm her stress, but that's why she, she, she noticed that our life, she put our lives in front of hers and gave us to her grandma. She didn't give up on us, so like, that pushed me more not to give up anything. The last time I saw my dad was when I was like 10, 11 years old, and then I never see him after that. I, I still pray for him, but like, he has no use in my life anymore. Like when I step in the ring, I only can like see the other person and hear my trainer calling. You shouldn't even give up. Like, what is that? Like that, if you give up, you you certified a loser. If you try, you you at least win in your book. My mom was a crazy ice user, you know? Thank God she's clean now, but she was. My dad just kind of left, you know? And, and I, I didn't ever want to be like that. And that was a fire under me for a long time. So I just wanted to show him, you know, what a family in my eyes is supposed to be. Everybody is like, you're from Wayna, you're going to be a loser. Heavy drug users, nothing but punks, people who want to fight all the time, people who don't have education, people who's not who's not smart, people who's gonna only end up doing low-income jobs, you know? I'm not the best fighter from YNI, or I'm not even the best athlete from there. Like, I saw so many guys uh, supposed to be in the league. They're supposed to be here while, I, while I'm sitting. They're supposed to be doing greater stuff than what they're doing now. But I always saw little stuff bring them back, and I always told myself, I'm not, no way. I, I, I used that as fuel, that was my fuel. Like, I was, I always, like, uh, looked at him like, this is not happening to me. I'm not giving up my dream for this. I'm not giving up my dream for that, you know? And, and uh, I just want people to know, like, you can do it, you know? Like, a lot of, a lot of these guys is, they become, like, you know, the all-star, you know, whatever. The, the number one standout in, 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 uh, in, in the school. And then they see their uncles, you know, and their uncles is there. And then what their uncles is doing, they're all working construction. After, after work, they go, they drink every Friday. They, they meet up somewhere, they drink, popping bottles or whatever, and talk about what they did in high school. And I always told myself, that's not going to be me. There's no way. I'm going to let people talk. Let people talk about me. You know, if you got to talk about it, then, you know, that's you. You know, that's fair shake to you. But that's not what I want to do. Just drugs and just other stuff. Like, you know, that most of them is still at home. I still see them around town when I'm around town. And working a job they don't like, talking about the days when they was in high school and they did certain stuff. And I always told myself, that that's not going to be me. You know, the older people that was older than me, and with drugs too, I was like, this ain't gonna stop me, you know? Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna let this be it, you know? This ain't it for me. You know, I just, I, in everything I did, I just wanted to be the best, and whatever it is. And I didn't want no shortcuts, I didn't want no handouts, I wanted it the hard way, and everybody keep, we're in a time where everybody's trying to get big money fights, and they're trying to cut the line in front of so much things, like, they're just trying to shortcut it, get that one fight, and they're good, but that's not sustainable, right. you know what I mean? Like. I'm about building legacy and living the legacy and, uh, and let the blessed era continue. All these money fights is going to come. It's going to come. It's going to happen. You know, all, you got to just do your job and keep winning. And that's what I keep doing. And, and sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Right. Sometimes you plan something and it doesn't go through. And, you got, and it's life, Rush. You got to move on. You know? yeah, a loss is a loss. It happens to the best of us. You know, even the greats got losses. You know, even the, the, the greats in other sports, Kobe Bryant. You know, uh, Michael Jordan, the LeBron Jameses, you know, like all these guys is guys I, I put myself out there, uh, after, you know, even Jay-Z, you know, guys like Jay-Z, you know, they had losses, you know, but but look at where they're at now, you know, it, it doesn't make you, you know, a true champion is a champion that can get knocked down and then uh, we see how far you can bounce back up. You can only do so much with success. You can keep going and success and success and some, some guy would have success for the rest of his life and not change nothing just because he know that's one way of success, you know, and you know, these failures, they gotta happen, you know, and I, and I attack them straight on, straight forward. I, I'm happy for this, you know, I, like, things happen for a reason. I truly believe things happen for a reason, that fight happened for a reason, that place, that time, it had to happen in this life, and uh, you guys gonna see a new and improved uh, blessed. If you wanna be the best, you gotta beat the best, and the best is blessed, baby. Uh, but it, that's just me, I'm competitive, you know, I, I wanna compete with the best, and, and that's what you wanna do, you know. It, like I said, I said this many times before, in the old gladiator days, they didn't bring out scales. They, they didn't bring out anything. You just fought, you know? And uh, if you think you're the best number one pound for pound in the world, that's what you do, you fight. 
it's just me, you know, like with this point system, this and that. I try, I always try to finish fights, no matter what. Even if you're the best guy in the world, I'm gonna try to finish you. And you always gonna see me in your face. I'm not gonna go away because that's just it, you know. Like if we fought to death, like if there's no time limit, I'm good. Like I'm gonna kill you. Like that's just my mindset. I'm gonna figure out a way to make you tired and it make you quit. At the end of the day, that's what it is. That's why you you should be in that moment because. If you're fresh and stuff, everybody can be the greatest fresh. But there's the special ones that know how to figure it out when they're not there. Like when you're tired and you're dead tired, you gotta go that one more round, the extra minute, you figure things out. And that's what that's what separates the greats from the greatest, you know? That, that's just the difference, I think. When you turn your cards and you get your black belts and you put your time in on the mats, no one can ever take that away from you, you know? The belt. We can lose that one day. It's gone. But then, but then at the end of the day, no one can like the actual belt. They can, but they can't take away of me being a champion. Yeah. Of what I did, you know, the actual champion. Because I actually went out there. I did the grind. You guys don't see. You guys only people only see 25 minutes of us. Yeah. You know what I mean? 25 minutes. But they don't see the the hours and hours yeah. of training. So hundreds I just of hours at this point. Yeah. Hundred, hundreds, hundreds on the mat. You know yeah. what I mean? And and that that. Nobody ever gonna take away from me, and because of that, I'm always gonna be a champion. Yeah. I told him this belt don't mean nothing. My last interview, I told him I was a champ before I had this belt. This don't mean nothing. Yeah. It's cool. It's just showing you guys that look, I'm valid. Like it's validation to you guys. It's not yeah. validation to me. The validation is when I go in, blood, sweat, and tears that you guys don't see. Me, me not wanting to train, but I, I wake up and I and I tell myself he's probably training right now, so I need to go out there and, and show him show him how to train. You know. Yeah. And, it's a mindset thing, so it's just a mindset. To get my first title, I had to win 10 fights and an interim. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hard work, I ain't scared of no hard work. And um, everybody know, you know, you know the saying, to be the best, you gotta beat the best, and the best is blessed, baby, so bring them all. I'll tell you the one thing it is, it's like, do not, do not be afraid to reach out for help. We, we, we live in a place where social media, everything is like, I'm a self-made guy, or right. this self-made this, this. It's all lies. If you look, they got a team behind them, and they're working. Nobody can do anything by themselves. Like, you might get to a certain point, but then to get over that point, you need help. You got to bless yourself first. You got to be willing to get out the hole first, and then you open up and talk to people. But do not be scared to talk to people. Do not be scared to open your feelings. Do not be scared of being judged. Who cares? If some if you try to open up to someone and, and they judge you or they, or they tease you or whatever and so on and so on, then that person not for you. Go talk to somebody else. That person not, not your real friend, you know, or real family member, whatever you want to call it. But it's it's just reach out. You just need help, you know. Bless yourself and then get blessings from other people. That's it, you know, that's it. That, don't, be, don't be scared to talk to people like... Uh, a lot of people, we live in a time, we just live in a time where everybody think everything is perfect because they, what they see on Instagram, people posting pictures and, and videos that, oh yeah, life is good, life is great, but it's really not, you know, when you get over that fence line, yeah, the grass like McGreen in the front lawn, but when you go in the backyard, the back is. everything is dead, you know what I mean? The whole grass is dead, don't, 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 don't be like that. Reach out to people, if we're all humans, we all bleed, if we're all in here got cut in the same place in our arm, we all bleed out and die if we don't get medical help. So at the end of the day, don't be scared to ask for help. I always tell them too, you know, it's not how you start the race, it's how you finish, bro. It's like, finish strong, bro. You got kids, you got focus now. I know, I know you, you think you fucked up, but you never let nobody down here. You know, you got, you got time and just make everything right again or try to go get as close as you can to making everything right again. That's great advice.